Hello everyone, Artman here and welcome to this video. I'm going to be talking to you about something I find very, very interesting. I say interesting because it is most definitely something that I've been thinking about in this recent lockdown because there was an announcement about Google Photos suspending its ability to or our ability to upload videos and photos to their platform using the high quality thing for free like unlimited uploads and yes that means that from june or july of 2021 we won't be able to upload for an unlimited amount of storage we'll have the 15 gb limit that google photos has what's the alternative i've been looking into this whole thing for a very long time i've tried to de-google myself as much as possible i use a custom rom on my smartphone i try to utilize as many non-google products as possible and it's just while google is a very essential part of our e ecosystem of the android ecosystem <clears throat> it becomes hard to remove it but this is just one more chance one more attempt to get it done. So this is an alternative that I found to Google Photos, Unlim. Unlim is a backup slash cloud storage option. Here's the kicker. It gives you unlimited cloud storage for free, for free. And you might be wondering how the answer to that is displayed on the screen right now. Basically what they're doing is when you log into the application for the first time, you'll be asked to log in using your Telegram account. Why? Here's the fun part. Telegram has unlimited cloud storage and I'll be talking about Telegram implementing some new features and stuff like that very shortly. But I need to talk to you about how they're implementing this and I love this, okay? So now I've been using Telegram for over, I don't know, 10 years almost. It's been very, very integral to the way I use it. Mostly I've been power using Telegram for a span of six years, mostly. The remaining four years were just like randomly using Telegram. And because of that, I've found out how Telegram features are very useful. Uh, basically, Unlim is using the cloud storage that your Telegram account has to upload these photos that you have onto Telegram. And what that enables Unlim to do is not have any extra money on its side. All it does is utilizes the account's saved messages thing. So if you're using Telegram, if you've been using Telegram for a long time, you'll know that there's a saved messages feature. What it does is it allows you to send messages to this particular facility and it keeps it saved. So if you want to go back to that particular point in a conversation or to go use or save files over there, it saves it over there as the name suggests, saved messages. Now, how is this helpful? How is this useful? How does this make any sense? Unlim is using free storage and how will they earn from the additional uh, amount of work that they put into it? Well, Telegram has recently announced that they will be monetizing their app in the foreseeable future uh, in order to enable their platform to stay alive. So they'll be keeping the messaging and most of the current features available for free. In fact, I think all of the features that are available right now will remain free up until when they monetize it. And they'll be adding a few new features for professional people, you know, those who use it for businesses and stuff like that. So probably they'll add backup features and stuff like that for professionals and also for people who just are power users who use Telegram as a sort of daily driver of sorts. That is the additional monetary value that they'll be adding to Telegram and everything else remains free for all of us. Telegram still has the unlimited storage option, but they'll be introducing ads. When I say ads, people are like, oh God, there's pop-ups everywhere. No, what they're gonna do is use their own ad platform. People have channels on Telegram and those channels usually have messages that come out every now and then. And these messages are usually interspaced with ads from third-party people. For example, I use Google Camera. It's basically a modded version of the Pixel camera that Google has on its smartphone and I've gotten it ported onto my smartphone. People do this without any money. So where do they earn the money from? From ads, from donations. So what Telegram is doing is allowing these creators to use the channels and use Telegram's ad platform to create, generate revenue for Telegram and the creators themselves. So that enables Telegram to generate revenue for itself. It enables Telegram to 
allow the creators to have its base telegram is becoming a social media platform in and of itself now and that is amazing that is where i believe unlim is going unlim might at some point start using telegram's ad platform to generate revenue for itself that way it doesn't have to ask us to pay for the features that it's giving us now i want to suggest a few features to unlim and i don't know guys if you're watching this they are very responsive to the emails you send them i sent them an email like five minutes ago and they gave a reply immediately so they are very very responsive so if you have any questions or queries or stuff like that do email them and let them know how much it means to you now my suggestions are very simple well they're not simple they sound simple i know it will take a lot of time and automation from your side i've tried to do automation for the telegram backup for a lot of time and there's a few systems or services that use this automation thing on telegram uh, on android the tasker system and all but it doesn't work as well as you guys are doing so here's a few suggestions telegram has channels and google photos has a flaw the flaw is that whenever we upload or backup our photos and videos our media onto that particular platform it literally just backs them up. There is no folder segregation. So when you delete the media from your smartphone and you go to look for a photo that you uploaded like few months back, you have to scroll through the entire thing based on date. You cannot find it in a particular folder. What I'm suggesting is maybe use the facility that Telegram has of channels to create folder based channels on Telegram using your particular service and making all of the photos of that particular folder be backed up onto that particular channel. That way you get multiple channels. If you use the ad platform at some point, you can use those channels to generate revenue. The more the channels, the more amount of revenue you guys get. At the same time, because it's Telegram's ad platform, it's not gonna be intrusive. We won't really worry about uh, this whole ad thing and we won't really mind it because you guys are doing a great job. Also, if possible, use the chat folder system to organize this whole thing. Like maybe give us the choice because you probably might not be able to because if you get access to the entire application system, then it might be hard for us to trust you guys. So maybe give us a suggestion in the app itself to back up or select these particular chats and add them to a separate chat folder for our convenience. That way you guys get the channels, you guys get ad revenue that is going to come from that ad platform. And at the same time, we get the convenience, the user friendliness that we've come to expect from Telegram and from these really, really amazing app developers such as yourselves. Telegram has a two gigabyte file limit. That means that we can upload media of any type at all up to a two GB file limit, meaning we have a lot of chances. We have a lot of scope to do whatever we want and you guys get to do whatever you want because you've chosen an amazing platform. However, it's very tricky. I would love to stay in contact with you guys if you guys would love the constant development help and stuff like that. I'd be willing to do beta testing and stuff for you guys. Just, I really, really hope that you guys do not become, once you guys become successful at some point, you guys don't stop taking suggestions and just do whatever you want because that will ruin the experience for us users. And I really hope that you guys are watching this video. If you do watch this video, thank you so much for watching and listening to my rant and listening to my suggestions and also my theory. If I am right about what you guys are thinking, please let me know. That way I will also know what to expect from you guys. If you are doing something different and if you don't want to reveal it, that's also fine. But if you do wish to let me know what is different about the way you are doing it from what I am thinking about, that would also be great. <sighs> that's it from my side. Thank you to the Unlim team for doing such a great job. And no, this is not a sponsored video. I am not getting sponsored by anybody apart from my parents. Thank you so much for watching. Like and share if you want this video to go ahead. If you don't care about what happens to the video, at least like or probably don't like. Comment that you didn't like the video. If you didn't like it, comment if you like the video or just comment saying comment. See you. Bye.